So this is the Arduino Flight Auto Level Thrust Vector Control Software. I designed and coded it myself, except for the Thrust Vector Control. That's just some Thrust Vector Control I found on Tinkercad. As you can see, uh, let's see, if we move this, the Thrust Vector Control moves too. In the um, opposite direction that it is turning. Now it looks like it's turning with it, but that's actually not really true when you put it on a rocket. Uh, it goes, basically, if you if your rocket tilts this way, you want the rocket engine to go that way, and it pushes it like that. So that's what this does. So you can see it does that. Um, it does have some problems, though. The only significant problem is sometimes it freezes. That problem may be resolved by the time I um, by the time this video is up, but you never know. <clears throat> so yeah, in the next clip I'll kind of give a broader idea of how the code for this works. In this clip I'm going to do my best to explain on how the self-leveling code works. Uh, if you know nothing about Arduino code, uh, this will probably not make any sense to you. But if you know stuff about Arduino code, this should make sense to you. So up here we have a bunch of things including libraries. Um, I'm not the best at coding, but I th there's a couple things in here that I don't think are needed. Like uh, this down here. Um, because there's two outputs and it works so I don't think that is needed um, but yeah up here we declare the two servos and stuff like that we set the name for um, the name for the um, MPU 6050 gyro and we do a bunch of stuff here it's kind of would take a while to explain whatever everything is I'm only going over a broad of how this works because saying everything on how this works would take a long time. But down here we're setting it um, the value of which it could detect movement to two G's. Um, here we're setting it to 500 degrees on how much it needs to move, I think. And then um, down here we're just setting the gigahertz. That's, uh, now this code isn't the best it's a little glitchy sometimes, but I think it will work. I'm getting an Arduino Do soon, so I think it should work a lot better with the Arduino Do because it can run at a larger hertz range. Now, down here, we're just uh, getting uh, printing all the info to the serial monitor, which you can see it's doing right here because I have the uh, setup plugged in gives me um, the temperature, the angle right here, um, goes by fast. Um, but yeah, down here, we're just, uh, th this is, for thrust vector control, you want the um, TVC to turn the, the opposite direction as the movement of the movement to reorient. So we, um, uh, this right here, the, negative would usually go right here, but we put it here to reverse the direction of the servo. Then down here, ba basically the way it gets all of it is it take, it's this right here, sets the, uh, val the int value of the position of the servo to the value of the acceleration on the y and x axis, which is the two axes we want. And then it just sets its range of movement and stuff.